We do still firmly believe that someone who was in the house the night of the disappearance knows what really happened. I've told everything that I know. I've been, been nothing but truthful with them. And we're asking them to search deep into their, their hearts and come forward with the information that could, could, could solve this case. It's a case that has left New Braunfels Police Department and a family searching for their son frustrated. New Braunfels Police Department saying the family isn't being truthful and the family saying the police department isn't doing their job. I'm reporter Lee Waldman. And I'm court reporter Erica Hernandez. This is South Texas Crime Stories, the first episode, The Disappearance of Joshua Davis. It was a cold night on February 4th, 2011. 18 month old Joshua Davis was inside a trailer home in the 2600 block of Savannah Hills Circle in New Braunfels. According to Sabrina Benitez, she and her son Joshua were in a room watching a movie when he walked out toward the front of the house where six other adults and another child were. What happened next, we may never know. Apparently, nobody else in the home at the time saw Joshua. At some point that night, 911 was called by Davis's grandfather to report Joshua missing. Where's your emergency? Uh, 2619 Savannah Hill Circle. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, 2619 Savannah Hill Circle. And, uh, my grandson is missing. He's about 16, 16, 18 months. And we can't find him anywhere. Any obvious signs of injury or anything like that? No. Has he uh, just started, like, crawling or walking? He, he's walking, but uh, we can't find him anywhere. So what was he last seen wearing? Uh, a plate, dark black, I mean, dark, dark uh, brownish plate shirt and blue jeans. And he didn't have any shoes on, had socks on, that's it. You know, I don't, we don't, what is I don't know how. Josh. What is your name? Josh. My name is Jerome Davis. How long ago? Been, we've been looking for him for about 20 minutes. Okay. I'm going to get somebody heading that direction, okay? Just keep looking for him. If you find him, give us a ring back. Uh -huh. Let me verify. Uh, 2619 Savannah here, Circle, all right? Right. Okay, I'll get him rolling. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. The search for Joshua began. Several different agencies helped New Braunfels Police Department search for Joshua in the days after his disappearance, but there was no sign of him. Police then started to question family members in the home at the time. They started to suspect that someone in the house had something to do with or knew something about Davis's disappearance. Authorities say time was spent getting rid of drugs in the house before calling 911 to report Joshua missing. The family constantly denied any wrongdoing, but the case went nowhere. Five years later, in 2016, Davis's mother, Sabrina, spoke with Case at 12, and she said she believed her son was still alive. I have no doubt in my heart, or I've never had a feeling mother's intuition that my son's gone. Meanwhile, police said that while the family has been cooperative, they doubted the information they were given. Here is David Ferguson, NBPD spokesman. We don't believe that the information that they are giving us is fully truthful. Sabrina saying the family isn't hiding anything. I've told everything that I know. I've been, been nothing but truthful with them. Again, nothing new came and Joshua still not found. In 2019, the case again getting attention. This time, police releasing the 911 call the night that Joshua disappeared. Also, a photo was released by the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children of what Joshua might look like at eight years old. The police still urging family to tell them the truth and the family saying police weren't doing their job. In 2021, it is now the 10th anniversary of Joshua's mysterious disappearance. New Braunfels police announced on social media that they have been frustrated and disappointed in the level of cooperation from some members of the immediate family who have repeatedly lied and misled detectives. Ferguson again speaking at a news conference about this case. We do still firmly believe that someone who was in the house the night of the disappearance knows what really happened. NBPD also said that detectives continue to follow up new leads, but have accused the family of sending investigators off to investigate theories they knew to be untrue. It was also revealed that the family's initial claim they called 911 immediately was wrong. Investigators have confirmed that about 45 minutes to one hour elapsed before that 911 call was made. Despite how long it has been, NBPD say the case is still open. 
The hope is always to find baby Joshua alive. Unfortunately, the investigation points to that being unlikely. Thanks for joining us this week and make sure to stay tuned next week for an all new episode of South Texas Crime Stories.